I think the matter, the, the issue of self-knowledge really becomes ethically significant and important when you start differentiating within yourself between different layers or, or I would say levels of the self, a deep level, I wouldn't say authentic because I don't know what that means, but a deep level uh, and a superficial level, the superficial ego, um, um, the, the one that projects a social image uh, to other, this social self that James referred to, and then this spiritual self or deep self or whatever you want to call it. And Osad Elahi has this notion of the, the spiritual self or self-modeling itself, self-modeling its personality um, as a tension between an imperious self, which is a bundle of drives, imperious drives or urges or desires um, that basically come down to your animal nature, um, and a tension between this imperious self and this higher self, higher level of yourself, you call it second order self, uh, I guess, at some point, which is here not so much to establish control. Well, yes, of course, the ultimate goal is to maintain some, some kind of control over this and transform yourself accordingly. But to get something from the knowledge of this imperious self, it's not about crushing your desires or just getting rid of these very annoying <laughs> urges. It's about getting something from it and building virtues upon it, to use this very old-fashioned term that Aristotle reflected upon. Virtues are basically about transforming your passions and desires in a way that's constructive and, and make you flourish as a spiritual self. But uh, I think it's very important to have this kind of self-model uh, in this dynamic tension between two levels of ourselves. And the notion of imperial self developed by Ustad Elahis is a case in point. It's a very interesting way of self-modeling without having any, I think, perspective of you know gaining an absolute objective knowledge of yourself, you know, as as a as a as an embodied uh, pers person uh, uh, or as an unconscious uh, psyche. I mean, these are all elements that are can be useful in the ethical process of self transformations, knowing about unconscious drives or motives or um, aspirations, but the ultimate goal is not to map your personality in every detail that doesn't make sense. Again, the idea is to come down with a come down with a come up actually with a kind of uh, effective model of your ethical self. 